Welcome everybody. Welcome to a brand new video. Brand new day. Have you ever wondered to yourself, considered, or had this nagging feeling, thought, reoccurring thought in your mind of why am I not going for my goals? What am I afraid of? What am I not taking enough action on? What do I not know enough information about? Why am I not progressing the way how I want to progress? We're going to address that in this video. Things you need to do to stop, your, stop holding back yourself or stop holding yourself back number one is it a case that you are afraid to make a step forward eliminate fear is it a case that you want to be perfect before you make your first youtube video before you produce something create something let go of that feeling. Let go of that thought. Do not be a perfectionist. If you take a step and you take another step and you put another foot in front of the other foot, you'll get better over time. If you're waiting for perfection, it's going to procrastinate you starting. So why not just put aside procrastination? and perfectionism and get started why do you want to be perfect why do you want your production your item to be perfect before you release it when there's so many people that do upgrades along the way they release something maybe they then they'll revise it, ref refine it and make adjustments and make the upgrades needed to to, um, to take it a level higher instead of waiting for just perfection. Perfection really does slow you down in the long run. To reach perfection and to be at a perfect level may be required may be a good desire may be a good intention but it's better to get your foot started get get it's better to get started than not at all and then make your adjustments and improve as you go than to not start at all number two um Sometimes we need to just break free from procrastination, from guilt, let go of things that are old and embrace the new. Reinvent yourself is what I'm trying to basically say. Sometimes clinging to the old thing, when you can release that and embrace the new, and have a totally different energy and have a different outlook and aspect on life can be a benefit. Consider it. If you were offered the same job today with the conditions that they are now, would you take the same job? Think about it as we move on to step let go of regrets, past negative experiences. These things definitely have held me back in the past up until now. So letting go of those things, letting go of those experiences, putting my trust in God that things will work out. It's not hard to put your trust in God Someone told me, a wise man told me once before, all you got to do is simply trust him. Trusting that things going to work out, that things will be 
better. Things will improve. Trust in his word. If you read the word of God, you can trust that as well. So, trust in God. Number four, think of your future self. Sometimes if you don't like how things are or how you have been up until now, maybe you can let go of that self thought or vision or view, shall I say, not vision, but view of yourself. Let go of that and think of the, the future self that you want to become and focus on that. Focus on being better, not bitter being wiser, becoming the person who you desire to become, acting like, getting the information that you need, the knowledge that you need, and taking action towards that goal and that ideal person. Number five, eliminate procrastination. Minimize procrastination. Procrastination is like putting off what you know you need to get done. So if you know you need to get something completed, something achieved, something attained, instead of putting it off for another day, a later time, try and attack your goals with an aggression of urgency and a sense of wanting to complete a desire of wanting to achieve to become who you want to become so eliminate procrastination because it really slows down things and that's the enemy of success i've read in some books look forward and look not look back is the sixth one look forward and not look back look forward and not look back Keep moving forwards. Keep going for your dreams, your goals, your desires. Remember to add God in your plan. Talk to him. Speak to him. Converse as if you're conversing with a friend. In fact, looking forward has so many more benefits than to looking backwards. The future is brighter than your past. And if your past was bright, your future should be even brighter. Okay. So, number seven. Run your own course. Run your own lane. Run your own race. Forget about competition. For now. Just forget about... You could study your competition if you really want to. But focus on your own race. Race is not necessarily for the fastest person. It's not necessarily a sprint. It's not necessarily a marathon. But run your own race. This will help you in many ways than one. Number eight. Embrace the risk of being judged. People view people all the time. People will have things to say about people all the time. Let it go. People are going to say things regardless whether you want them to or not so if you have a project that you want to work on or you have try and release it publish it don't worry what people are going to say you're either going to have some good or some bad responses some people say that all marketing is good marketing so therefore embrace it 
Embrace the risk of being judged. And these are the things that should help you from not and to stop you from holding yourself back. Move forward, think forward, enjoy life, and hopefully this tip and these this video will bring value to your life that will, can help you let go of your past, eliminate stress procrastination, minimize procrastination, move forward, think of your future, think of your future self, let go of the past and negative experiences, run your own race, your own course and embrace the risk of being judged. Take care. Till the next time in the next video. Peace.